In this video, we'll go over lead code question number 242, valid anagram. Given two strings, we have to return true if they are anagrams of one another, and return false otherwise. Now, an anagram is a word that can be formed by rearranging the letters of another word. For example, night and thing are anagrams because you can rearrange the letters of each word to form the other. So our first strategy will be to sort each string, then compare them. If they are the same, then they are anagrams. This is the most straightforward method, but since the cost of sorting can be no less than O of n log n, if the length of the longer string is n, then this algorithm runs in O of n log n time. So to improve this, the first insight we have is that there's actually no reason why the characters need to be in sorted order. The only thing we need to know are just the character frequencies. In other words, if two words use the same number of each character, then they are anagrams. We'll be using a Python dictionary to keep track of each character and its frequency. And as you'll see, this will allow us to reduce the runtime to O of n. Now let's look at the code and solve this in Python. Let's assume the two strings, s and t, are loop and polo. The first thing we'll do is create two dictionaries, one for s and one for t, that will store the character frequencies of each string. The dictionaries will have a character as its key and its frequency as its value. So we're going to be using a variable called char to loop over s. Now let's break down this line over here. First, we're going to be using the built-in get method of dictionaries to get the value that corresponds to the key of char. So in this case, the key is L. Now, the nice thing about using the get method is that it allows a second argument, which is what will be returned if the specified key doesn't exist in a dictionary. So right now, since the dictionary is empty, the key of L doesn't exist. So this part right here will return zero. Then we add one to increment that value. So zero plus one equals one. So now we have a value of one, which we're then going to assign to the key of char, which is again L. So in the S frequency dictionary, we're going to create a key of L, which corresponds to a value of one. This means that we have seen the letter L one time. Now you can also write this using if else logic like this. If the key exists in a dictionary, then increment it, else, initialize its value to 1. This works, but I chose this way because I think using the get method looks a lot cleaner. So then we'll move on to the next character, which is O. O does not exist in a dictionary, so again, we'll create a key of O, which corresponds to a value of 1. Next, we come across another O. Now, since O already exists as a key, this part will return its current value, which is 1. We then add 1 to that to increment its value. So we update the key of O to have a value of 2. Finally, the last character is P, which is not in a dictionary, so we create a key value pair of P, which corresponds to 1. Now we're done with S, and we can move on to the next string, T. We're going to do the exact same thing here, except store the character frequencies in the T frequency dictionary. So the first character, P, doesn't exist in a dictionary, so we create it and initialize a value of 1. O also doesn't exist, so it also gets a value of 1, and neither does L, so we do the same thing. The last character, O, does exist, so we'll increment its value to 2, and we're done with this loop. Now remember, if two strings have the same frequencies of characters, then they are anagrams. So the last step is just to compare the two dictionaries, and return true if their contents are the same, and return false if not. Remember, in Python, comparing dictionaries with the equality operator compares the contents of each dictionary with the other. So if both dictionaries have the exact same key value pairs, then this line will return true. And if the dictionaries were different from each other, then that means that the two strings have different character frequencies. So they are not anagrams of each other, and we would return false. So in this case, both dictionaries have the same contents, so we return true, which means that loop and polo are anagrams of each other, and we are done. Now, before I end this, I want to mention a couple of variations on this solution that you could do. If you wanted to save space, then instead of creating two dictionaries, one for each string, you could only use one dictionary. For the first string, you would increment the values in the dictionary, but for the second string, you would decrement the values in the same dictionary. Then at the end, if all the values in the dictionary are zero, then that means that the character frequencies are the same and the strings are anagrams. You could even get rid of the dictionary completely and use an array instead. 
the character A would map to index 0, B would map to index 1, and so on. This would allow you to avoid doing the hash calculations that are required when using hash tables, aka dictionaries. So I chose the method of using two dictionaries because I thought it was the most straightforward way. But if you're interested in solving this problem in a different way, I would encourage you to try implement these solutions here as a challenge.